Hi guys, it's Lynn Fadetti here from Outsourcing Angel. Um, so most of us know that we need systems and processes and the right people and obviously the right tools in order to really grow the business or leverage ourselves so that we don't have to be working in the business. So how do we actually do it? So in this video, I would like to share with you the exact step-by-step -step guide on how we at Outsourcing Angel have created our processes and which has allowed us to you know, no longer to be the business being dependent on us, but we work on the business when we want to. And the time that we spend working on the business is usually working on improving the processes rather than doing the day-to-day -day operation. So I'll get straight into the video and explain to you how we've done it. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so this, what I'm showing you here is um, a base camp project. So we use project, this Basecamp project management tool um, for managing our projects at Outsourcing Angel. However, we have used this to actually create, um, this is where we use to centralize all our systems and processes. So I'll go through it um, on how I've created it later. But, so what, you know, what, what is this thing? This is, this, is system, this is a system and process that you need. You need somewhere where you're gonna store all the templates, or the step-by-step -step guide on each of those process in your business okay and why do you need this you need it in order to grow so it's okay when you're smaller and you have a few clients or, or a few staff you know you can get away with not having written processes but in order to grow your business and still be able to deliver the, 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 the same quality as you would when you're smaller you need to have all planned out systems and processes. Think of, it, think of um, turning your business into a, like a McDonald's franchise. It's like, how can you create the systems and processes so that anyone who you hire from, you know, even as young, as young as 15 year old or whoever at McDonald's can read this process and be able to, you know, start working straight away. So that's what we've came to realize that at Outsourcing Angel, although we had the processes and procedures, it wasn't written out well. Um, only the few key staff know, you know, what to do. They've saved templates here and there, where they, wherever they can access it. But if let's just say we were hit, you know, me myself and a few key staff were hit by a bus at the same time tomorrow, we would be stuck. So we dedicated about a month worth of time. Well, I actually spent a month of my time because, um, you know, I'm, I'm quite organised. When I when I decide to get organised, um, you know, my brain sort of works very logic logically and I'm able to sort of brain dump everything from my brain and, and try to make it a very easy to understand system. So I've decided that, you know what, I'm only going to sacrifice about a month of my time out of my whole life to, you know, work on the work on the systems and processes so that I'm going to enjoy the benefit in the long run. Because once I've created it, all I need to do is continue to fine tune the process, but passing that process on to my staff to use the process and work in the business instead of um, the business being dependent on me. Um, and also, once you create the systems and process, you don't have to actually worry about you know finding the best of the best type people because your system should be so simple that you know even the non not too smart people could follow it and could could um, you know could implement it well. So that's why you need a process. And so, who 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 would be using these systems and process? So this. Basecamp project management um, project here that we've created for the process and procedures. We invite all of our staff and everyone that's in the business. However, we're able to um, limit who can actually see it. So we use our team section where we invite the key members of the team who we want to be able to see everything in the business. But we're able to only invite you know the the remainder of people and be able to block out certain processes that we don't want them to see. Because at the end of the day, your systems and process is, you know, the, the, the best, the most value, valuable thing in your business. It's like McDonald's or KOC, you know. Once you know their systems and process, you can copy them, but they don't, they don't share it around. It's, 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 it's what make, make them who they are. So obviously you gotta, you know, protect your systems and processes. And so we invite the you know the new members of the team and people that don't need to see everything into the client section of Basecamp. So what that means is that when we create the systems and process, we can hide certain processes that they don't need to see. Okay, so let me go through on how we've actually created this. So the, what I like about Basecamp is so the reason why we even use Basecamp is that we're already using it at Outsourcing Angel. 
So I wanted to use something that we're already familiar with using. Um, it's easy to navigate around and so and it, it, it serves the purpose of, of, of what I need to do with processes. So I want to, to have something that I can easily edit because processes are not just written once and forget. It will always get fine-tuned because, you know, customers change, uh, services change and, and, you know, after um, sending out a template, you might realize that that template didn't work too well. You had to edit it and you want to be able to edit it quickly and, and have it ready um, ready there so that you could pass on to the staff and go, hey, the, system, the, the process has been, has been revised. Okay, so that's the reason why we're using it and I just love the fact that I can limit the access to certain people as well. So that's what I found um, it Basecamp being quite useful for that. So let's get into how I actually created this process. So basically the first thing I did was coming up with the categories of the processes. So I've come up with Topics such as organization, virtual angels, recruitment, project management, etc. So obviously your businesses are different, so you'll have different types of categories. So think of um, a category as a group of processes that belong to together. So under organization, I feel like I wanted um, you know they, these processes that, so that new VAs could come on board and know who's who in the organization, what services do we provide. I know it's all on the website here and there, but I wanted to make it easier that they could go into into this link and be able to read everything there. Um, and then under virtual angels, this is basically about the VA. So when they come on board, they will be able to read about orientation. If they're a casual VA, this is what's relevant to them. Um, you know, dedicated VA, payroll, training, company trip. So I've basically the first thing I did was coming up with all the processes that I think the business needs, some of them we already have, some of them we haven't, but I just come up with all those titles first. So you get all the titles done, and what you can see here is some numbers here. So the reason for the numbers is just that I wanted to use it like almost like a barcode or a unique code so that we can re uh, refer to the numbers, especially when you start to have more and more processes you want and then you're familiar with the process, you'll be able to even just refer it to the you know OA1A sort of number and know that it's got to do with roles and responsibility under organization. So that was the purpose of creating those numbers. Um, and obviously you might have duplicate process names under each category, so having those numbers can sort of um, differentiate the difference between the processes. The next thing you'll see is that I, I've assigned to a name. So the way I've done it this is every process has sort of a, a person who, who is the, the key stakeholder holder or the person responsible for this process. So when it comes to orientation, that means a VA would know that Wendy is the person they can report to. So if they're not clear about the process or they want to um, you know, provide some suggestions on how to improve the process, the person to speak to is Wendy. So that's why the names are attached there. Okay. So once you've gone through all of those titles, you would go through um, you would go into the, um, the actual process and you come up with the process. This is the, the fun part. Obviously, you won't be able to do it all in one day. Just break it down, you know, try to work through it as much as you can. Give yourself one or two months, um, but commit to a deadline so that you can finish it. So I did tell myself that I wanted to finish within the month. So, um, you know, I really pushed through and, and tried my best to finish, uh, um, you know, spend a couple hours a day so that I could finish it. Um, I think it's important to put that deadline, otherwise you'll never get it done. And the earlier you get it done, the sooner you can get, gain your freedom. And the sooner you will know, you know the resources that you may need in order to take over these processes. Okay, so let me go through um, an example of how I've created the process. So a simple way is to go through the questions of what, why, when, who and how. So what is this process about? So, for example, this process, what happened, this process is about what happens when a new VA succeeded at interview and we want to hire them. So it's clear. Why? You know, why do we need this process? To help VAs transition smoothly into working with us. When do we need this? Whenever a new VA gets started. So your when could actually be like, you know, the frequency. It might be that if you're doing a monthly audit or something, then you might have a when is monthly. Um, so the when is giving an indication of, you know, when does this process kick in. 
And then who? So who is responsible for, you know, handling this process or, or, or um, you know, executing the process? And then the how. So when it comes to how, try to break down as many steps as possible. Make it so simple, it's almost like step one, step two. And, you know, um, you basically you can use text. So I've used, asked them to follow our social media channel and I've provided links. Um, and in number three, you can see that ask them to watch the top 10 tips to being an awesome VA. So I've got a video there. So I, with Basecamp, all I do is paste in the link and it sort of shows a, a little thumbnail of the video. And then, you know, some steps I have eight, get them to study. So here I can, I even link the other processes that they would need to check. So when I click on this process, it will go to another process. So they need to read on all of these as per the step eight. You can add in, you know, ask them to submit a questionnaire. So basically, I have forms that they would need to fill out. Um, so basically, these are the 15 steps that they would need um, when they are being orientated into the business. Okay. So what is good about using Basecamp for the systems? I'm able to edit very easily. So if, let's just say I realize that this, I'm missing a step. I just press edit and go 16... Um, you know, final step. I'm just making an example here, and I can save. And what I can do is I'll say, "Hey, Wendy, I have updated um, new step 16. Please check." And I'm able to select her name or whoever that is related, to, or who whoever is important to this process, and click that. Okay. For now, I'm just gonna, you know, I'll leave it there. She won't, she knows that I'm just playing around with it. So that's how we do the process. So as you can see in each of our process, I've gone through the exact step. I've gone through each one and put in what, why, when, who. Um, I've also put templates. So this is where uh, a VA is able to copy and paste the exact template and use it for whenever, um, you know, something works. Okay, so this one I haven't had a chance to do the what how, why yet, but let's just go, no, okay, let me give you a better example, I'll go to another template, so obviously I haven't worked through all of it properly yet, but let's just give you an example, um, okay, no, it looks like when it comes to templates, I haven't actually wrote why, when, how yet, oh, okay, here's a good example, okay, so although this is a template where they can copy and paste the exact text so that they could send it to a client, I've actually put in what, why, when. So what this gives information about what to expect now that they are a client. Why? We wanted to provide important information so that they need, that they need to get started with a VA. When? Send this out as soon as possible and before the VA's first day of work. And when is the person to send it and how? So this is a template. So. Ideally, you should have the what, why, when, how for everything, even if it's just like a template. So yeah, obviously I've got some homework to do with the other templates. So that's how we've created those templates. And um, when it comes to security, so our intention is to be exporting this um, content out every month so that we've got another copy. Because obviously this is so important and imagine it it being deleted somehow accidentally. So Basecamp allows us to export it directly out into a, a um, you know, into a file. And so we'll do that as a, for security purposes. And obviously whenever um, a staff member no longer works with us, we can just unadd them from the Basecamp project. And just to show you here, so anything that you can see here that says the client can't see this to do, it just means that um, if those VAs are added to the group, they will only be able to see, for example, this one, that one. They're not going to be able to see that one. They can see that, not that. So um, that really, you know, um, minimizes the, the, the risk of, um, you know, showing process to the people that you don't want to see. So I think I've covered everything. Um, if you have any questions about how we've created this process, um, if you think there's some suggestions that to help us improve the way we've done it, um, please feel free to share with us. I hope that you found this video useful.